So I'm here with my beautiful wife and today we're going to talk about credit. There's different levels of credit, right? It's starting our credit, maintaining our credit, and building business credit. That's the biggest mistake that a lot of people do. They'll do bankruptcy for credit cards. Yeah. Like, don't do that. No, yeah, don't, don't do, do that. that. Yeah. Don't like do if, that. Like, if you had, like, 10 foreclosures of properties, <laughs> and then you have millions of dollars of debt, then maybe maybe do a bankruptcy. But not, not, not for that. The worst thing you can do is miss a $25 payment because you didn't put it on a recurring cycle or whatever. It's not even because you don't have $25, it's because you forgot to pay it. And it starts to, to affect you as far as your FICO score goes when it's a 30, 60, or 90 day late. After that, your credit is basically shot, so. Cre credit's like beautiful if you understand it. You could make so much money with other people's money. Like imagine, let's say you have $100,000 in your bank account. Like why would you risk that? Like that's stupidity. Hey guys, welcome to Driven Couples. I'm here with my beautiful wife and today we're gonna to talk about credit. Let's do it. Get it started, so. Mm. I gotta buckle my shirt. He's buckling his shirt. So today we're gonna to help you guys um, and well, give you all the knowledge that we have. I'm gonna to talk to them about the, the advanced stuff. So Based you, you, on you credit, get started with, with, with the baby stuff. Yes, so there's different How do you get a $500 limit for, from credit. Express and Macy's? Let me talk. We'll teach him how to do that. Okay. And then I'll, I'll teach him the advanced okay. stuff. Doesn't he tell me that? Don't interrupt me. So, okay, so on a serious note, there's different levels of credit, right? It's starting our credit, maintaining our credit, and building business credit. So it just depends on what level of life you're in. You know, for example, myself, when I just had a social that had no credit on it, the first thing I did was I went to Victoria's Secret, I went to Express, I went to Macy's. This is back in the day, long time ago, to start to establish my credit. And, you know, back in the day, they would have you just type in information into this little machine and it would approve you on the spot or not approve you on the spot. So I got approved on the spot, I think, I can't remember. But another way of doing it, you know, we've helped a lot of our clients are in the process of purchasing a home, you know, that have their kids that are gonna co-sign. So there's different ways to build your credit. And a lot of people don't start that till way later on in life. So the earlier you start it, the more history you're gonna have as far as credit goes. So another way is, um, going to your bank and saying hey you know for all the younger people going to the bank and saying hey um, i want to establish my credit what do i have to do so they'll give you normally a secured credit card what is a secured credit card so a secured credit card is a credit card let's say the limit is a thousand dollars and what you do is you give you front the thousand dollars you get the credit card and i believe after a year of good standing they'll give you your money back and you get to keep the credit card so that's another way the third way, if you have no credit, is getting added. I should hire you. Getting added to your, you know, a, a credit card that's already established as an authorized user. So again, this is just for brand new people. Those are the three very simple options. Um, and you just have to make sure that you pay your monthly payments on time. You know, what I did was I went to Victoria's Secret. I went to Macy's. I went to Express. You know, I was probably like, what? 24, 25, I got started a little late on the credit department because I did everything cash and everything with my debit card, but credit is super, super important. Once you get on um, to bigger and bigger and better things, you know, as you get older, as you build your life and business and whatever it is that you're trying to do, you know, finance a car or whatnot. So um, yeah, I maxed out all my cards. <laughs> He I paid told him this me morning. To, he, well, no, not those. He told oh, you me maxed to, them, you still keep maxing them out. Back in the day, you know, and, and I just went to Victoria's Secret Express Macy's and I literally just maxed out my cards and he told me, okay, just do the monthly payment now. So, you know, it kind of gets everything revolving and going and the worst thing you can do is miss a $25 payment because you didn't put it on a recurring cycle or whatever. It's not even because you don't have $25, it's because you forgot to pay it. And it starts to, to affect you as far as your FICO score goes when it's a 30, 60, or 90 day late. After that, your credit is basically shot, so. 
How did I do? <laughs> Pretty good. So, for example, uh, your ring. Uh huh. Was that bought on credit or cash? Cash, right? <laughs> so, how, how how should you buy a a ring like that? Well, it depends. Not not a ring like this, but like a ring back in the day. Or what do you mean? Not like that ring. I don't know. I mean, what do you mean back in the day? However. Well, back in the day, you bought me rings. This is actually one of the rings he bought me at Don Roberto Jewelers to establish his credit because his credit went to shit when the market crashed in 08, 09, like when everybody lost everything. He just didn't do bankruptcy. Bankruptcy is basically, I don't want to say the easy way out, but kind of like the easy way out. He kind of just fought through everything, and now his credit is like amazing. No, because pe people don't don't understand credit, and it's very easy to like like credit. Let's say you get a credit card for like eighty thousand dollars limit. Like I, I'm gonna teach you today how to get a eighty thousand dollar limit, where you could start a business, you could pay eighty grand to do an event, then create the event, have the event, make a lot of money, and then you pay off the credit card, and then you keep your profits, and you don't pay any interest. You get all, you keep you make points, you make money off of it. So I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. It's very easy, but it's it's also very easy to like. Let's say, what happens if you use eighty grand and then you just can't pay it because the business didn't go that well? You just don't pay it. And what happens? It's sent to collections. You get a late first. You get a thirty day late, then a sixty day late, then a ninety day late, and, and then, then people panic problem. and they're like, "Oh my god, my credit's going down." But hey, it's not the end of the world. There's a lot of credit repair companies out there. It's not hard to repair your credit. And if you, you just let them send you to collections and then they'll call you later and they'll say like, hey, do you want to do you want to settle for 10 percent or 15 percent of the amount? And then you're like, yeah, cool. Let's roll. So it's that easy. Like you, you guys are watching this and you might be like, oh, my God, Albert, is that really? Yeah, I did it all the time. Look, you look. don't want to do that, though. Again, this is I'm just saying how I'm just saying how easy it to is help to help people build their credit, have it in good standing. And of course, okay, life yeah, so happens, I got shit into happens. that because I asked you, how do you buy a ring like that do you buy a credit I mean, or cash right now probably cash no but for, for people watching it i don't know i have no idea but you're saying like a ring like that compared to a ring like don don'roberto's what do you like mean like this that? one <laughs> yeah but what do you mean like that because this ring you needed to buy it and it was like 400 dollars, which is too much for this exactly ring. but you know that 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 ring is 400 dollars to like the billionaire nowadays i guess and, so and, and now and now the the, the billionaire they use they use they have credit card credit cards with a million dollars uh, credit available, and they just swipe it. So for them, they might they might buy that ring with a credit card and then get points. Yeah. So it depends. Like once again, different levels. But look, Let's I'm not in, sections, I'm, I'm, I'm not in, I'm not an expert. And you want to talk about the middle part then, and then I'll talk about the advanced credit. So the middle part, if your credit's already established, and you know a lot of the times it just depends. You have to leverage or. You know, you got laid off and you you're, you're just basically leveraging the money that you have, the credit cards that you have so that you can make it through until you find another job. Let's just say so. Ideally, when you're like in a credit that's established, you know, you you're working, you make good income, you pay your credit cards, blah, blah, blah. So you're not supposed to have them. You know, when the cycle close it closes for the credit bureaus, if you keep your credit cards at a 10% limit when it revolves, that's really good. You know, you shouldn't have it any more than that. So 10% is good. So if your credit card, let's just make it easy. It's a thousand dollars. You shouldn't have more than a hundred dollars on there, which is 10%. If it's a $300 credit card and you, you can only have $30 and, and, and your FICO score will always be high. Now, remember there's three different bureaus that monitor that and are able to pull reports as far as history goes so that you can be like hey here you go like when you're trying to get a car you know your your credits your FICO score your credit report actually tells the person lending you the money an actual story like if you're good at paying back if you're not you know if you have established credit that I'm talking it's years 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 like like his you know, mine, mine is not nearly as good as his, you know, he's made it a thing and he's also built business credit for us. You know, I finally got an Amex card, which I was super excited. Show it off. I don't know where it is. It's in my wallet. <laughs> so I finally got an Amex card, which is really cool because it's like really thick and it's like made out of um, steel or whatever. It's just platinum. It, it's made of platinum. It, yeah. Oh, yeah. Platinum. It felt so good. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Cause like, I'm like, why do you have one and I don't have one, right? 
So, so yeah, guys, like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not an expert, but, but today this is gonna be probably one of the best episodes because I'm, I'm really darn pretty good at credit. I'm actually, yes. it's one of the new companies that's in the works. I'm starting a credit company. Repair. You know, you know it's a credit repair company. I know a lot about credit, and I have the right. I, I have the right. You know, I have a couple buddies that that already have a business that's doing millions of dollars. So I'm really excited, but I, I know a lot about credit. So based on my experience, I'm gonna teach you what I know that has worked for me. Finance, uh, Rolls Royce, Ferrari. The other Ferrari isn't at the shop. I, I financed a Suburban. That was a purchase, a purchase loan, because it's six thousand pounds. So I'm gonna write it off hundred percent off um i have a surprise I, like I, I got myself a birthday gift oh shit yeah i can only imagine i already know what you so, got. so it's, it's it's a it's a nice uh you know a nice car but but um she'll see you later however uh i don't like i don't need anybody to buy me gifts like i i get my own gifts i know yeah. people <laughs> ask me like what what are you getting him his birthday's on monday by the way guys what are you getting him? Like, what do you get him? I'm like, honestly, like, he is the hardest person to shop for because he has everything. So I end up, like, making, like, a cute card with the girls. And, I'm like, I used to be super creative when I used to have way more time on my hands. And I would remember when I wrapped a, a gift for you. I don't even know what it was. But, and Italia put her little hand. She was, like, one. It was so cute. Those are the remember? best gifts. You remember? You want to come give Papa a kiss for his birthday? It's not his birthday yet. Tell him. It's Monday. Mm. Mm. E mama? <laughs> so yeah guys so mm, those kisses are delicious so yeah i, I you know i this <laughs> you, you you guys will see this new car it's it's a birthday gift to myself but this um i have this card it's a pen fit card i think this one has like twenty thousand limit it's paid off this one is my mortgage guy business card so th so these the cool thing about business cards is business cards they don't go on your credit. So you could get a bunch of business cards and they don't go on your credit. So I have like a like a mortgage guys. I have like a mortgage guys credit card. You know, these these cards have close to 100 grand each. This one's the Driven Enterprises credit card business. Doesn't go on your credit. Also has almost like 100 grand. Uh, this is my Platinum uh, Amex. Doesn't go on your credit. It's a business card. This one has no limit. I have a Capital One card, Venture card. No this limit. one also has Sounds a large limit. <laughs> this Freedom card uh it's paid off and and uh isn't it paid off steph you were you were a witness and i and i bumped it up from what limit to what limit 60 to almost 100 Six, 65,000 to 99,700 and actually like that. guys that was literally right before coming here steph can attest to this because you know this is something that albert's like he he, he would tell me in the past uh, before we had kids like call this credit card and do this and say this I'm like okay and I would do it and that's exactly what he did right before we came on here with you guys because again if you don't have this information you could never go out and execute and you can't keep growing and growing and growing you know and, and a lot of people like myself I like to use <coughs> cash I like to use my debit card but, but he forbids me yeah, he's because like he, that's because she she's like like not old school she's not in, intelligent in that that's not one of that's not one of her strengths like that that's that, that's considered to me uh stupidity to use a debit card or or cash for things now this card for example before i get into it because i have two big two big um things we want to show two big uh what is it two big tips, tips uh, that i'm going to teach you today and and one of them is going to be how to finance your down payment stuff you want to put that on mute um, I'm going to teach you guys how to finance your down payment how, through a credit card. So you guys are saying, I don't have a down payment for my house. I'm going to teach you how to use a credit card for your down payment. I'm also going to teach you how to get an $80,000 minimum credit card, like easy pancakes. Now, this card, this one's one of my U.S. Tell bank cards. Card. This is one of my U.S. bank cards. This one, I think, was the, this is the one that had a $40,000 limit. This one, they increased it today to 50. So it was only like a $10,000 credit limit increase. This is one of my little cards. And then this one is my um, my other uh, US bank card. This one had a $19,000 limit and today they increased it to 40,000. So these are two of my smaller cards. And then I have, you know, the Best Buy card. This one I think um, is an $8,000 limit. Uh, <laughs> yes, I have my Discover card. This is, this is the... 
the purple one. Those are smaller limits. They don't go that high. He doesn't like those. Uh, credit yeah, I don't cards use no those more. cards because I mean you can't use them for anything. Um, let's see, <laughs> I, have, I have quite a few. This is my Barclays card. I like this one. This one had a twenty-five thousand dollar limit. Are but you then, sharing credit card but then, info with people? Yeah, I mean you could, but but yeah, I mean go ahead, guys. Uh, but but yeah, this one had a twenty-five thousand dollar limit, and then they, this one they they reduced it to um, five thousand nine hundred and fifty when my when my FICO score went down a while a while back, like a couple of years ago, and then they haven't they haven't increased it back. So I don't know. I, I got to call them. But I mean, I have many more credit cards here, guys, and I have over, you know, I have maybe a million, a million and something available in credit cards, like close to two million. Uh, not counting, like, of course, I have a lot of cash. I have millions in the bank, but I have millions in, in credit cards. Stop playing around with my credit I cards, please, because then you start using them. So it's very important to have credit cards because, for example, Let's just say this uh, Chase, my Chase Freedom car card. I'm gonna start with this, and then wh what I want to do is, what I want to do is, I want to jump into questions because I know a lot of you might have questions on on how do I get this card, how do I, I want to, I want to hear your questions so I could help you with that. But for example, this card, the Chase Freedom card is re a really good card. By the way, I make about five. I don't pay any interest, so I don't. It doesn't matter if these cards have a twenty percent interest rate. APR, I don't pay any interest. I get paid $5,000 a month that's non-taxable. So I don't pay taxes in those 5,000 bucks. I get free $5,000, which is what I use to get my my uh, Ace of Spades. Uh, we go to that's nice champagne, dinners. By the way. Yeah, it's like a really classy okay. champagne. We go to dinners with that. Uh, like we just use that money on whatever. It's like my, my, my just throw away money. And, and you don't pay taxes because that's points. So that's money, that's a credit reward point. So you get like money back when you use your card and you pay it off the same month. So when you pay it off, off before the, the cycle, the billing cycle, then you don't pay any interest and then you get paid points on all the money that you're spending. So when you have a business, you have a lot of expenses. You need to use your credit card so you get points and you don't pay taxes on points, point money that you get reward money. So that's why I use my credit cards because I like those that free money. So what I do with with uh, why I like this card is because you want to start with a freedom card from Chase. You open this card, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna apply for like five credit cards at once. So and you have to have a good FICO score, by the way. So if you have like a 500 or 600 FICO score, you gotta work on your FICO score to get it up to like 700 or close to 700 before you start this. So. It's very easy that that that's a whole different which we could get into that, but it's very easy to up your credit your credit your credit score. Now there's a thing with uh, Experian that you could go there and you could do the Experian boost, which is going to boost your credit um, score because it's going to ask you to log into your bank account. You're going to log into your bank account and all the bills that get paid from your bank account are going to be added to your credit report. So that's going to increase your, your, your experience score, which is going to make it easier to get approved and increase your credit score. So when you get this card, it's really good because it's 0% interest for 12 months, first 12 months, first 15 months. Then they give you like a bunch of extra bonus points. When you spend your first month or two, you spend like a certain amount. Let me let the, 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 the plane go by while I take a little sip of my Celsius. Can I have a sip? Okay, bring her Celsius. You are so greedy. What? I, it's it's my measured energy. <laughs> like you, like he has I, an energy problem. I, I won't give you a little bit. I don't. <laughs> what do you need to go get after this? You have to go to the clinic, right? So, this card is really good. Excuse me. <laughs> because this card, it gives you zero percent interest, and and then it's what so you bad. do is that same day you're gonna apply for five cards. So let me let me give you a few. There's a lot, but Chase is really good. You go, uh, you get, you apply for this one, Chase Freedom. Then you apply, and you want to take notes on this. You apply for the Marriott card. These are all traveling cards. You want to get the traveling cards because the traveling cards get you the highest credit limits. So you apply for a Marriott card. You apply for a Delta card. You apply for a uh, what is that? Um, South Southwest card is one of them. Even the Disney, like some, some of you have kids, get the Disney card. 
you get the Disney card from Chase and, and it might sound funny, but you get all these cards, they give you high limits because they want you to spend a lot of money in the Marriott Hotel. They want you to spend a lot of money at the Disneyland, Delta, and, and uh, there's a Ritz card. So United, the United's another one. So just pick four of these and apply for them. You'll get a high limit. And then what you do is you call Chase and you, you, you ask Chase, hey, Chase, um, I want to combine all my credit limits. So all my credit limits from my United card, Marriott card, Disney card, I want to move all those limits. So once one has a $20,000 limit, one has a $15,000 limit, one has another $15,000 limit. So you move all those credit limits to your Chase Freedom card that has 0% interest. So that means for 15 months, you don't have to pay any interest. You could, you know, use it for whatever. You could use it for, uh, I mean, and, and here's where, where I'm gonna be coachable to you guys. Don't use it on stupid things. You know, like don't, don't use it, don't live the life of a millionaire with your credit card that has yeah. $80,000 limit and go yeah. buy uh, a brand new uh, Corvette and, and, and then go, you know, spend money on a vacation that you can't afford and then you max it out. Then you it's can't just pay it it's off. just a waste of time. Now you, that's what's going to happen is you can't pay it off. You you get a late. You go to collections, and then you're going to have to settle your, your your account, which is not the end of the world. It's I mean I can't tell you what to do. If you guys want to do that, then that's on you. It's like I it's, I'm not going to get in trouble. Neither are you. You just have to settle your card, and then your credit's going to drop for a little bit. Then it's going to you're going to build it back up. So don't use it for that. Just don't waste time. You know, time is the most valuable thing. I learn from mistakes and experience and I'm already going to turn 38. My birthday's coming up, by the way, I got a, a car for my birthday, but, but it's, but you guys don't waste time. He loves so, cars. so use the, use your, your, your 80 K to start a business. Let's start a business. If, if you want to, maybe, maybe your business could be, maybe, you know, something that that's maybe, you know how to put makeup. Okay. If you're a girl, you're, you're a girl, you're watching this and you're like, man, Albert's giving some good, good tips. So, Create a workshop and use your credit card, pay the the Hilton or whatever, the 20 grand to rent the conference room paid with your credit card. Then you, you're going to need food paid with your credit card. You're going to need a speaker that's going to attract crowds paid with your credit card. And then, and then you use all your credit card to create this event. You show up and then you sell a product. Then you make $100,000, which is not that big of a deal, but now your net, your net profit is 20 grand. So you spend 80 grand and you made 20 grand. So is that a win? Of course it's a win. Then you're gonna get 80, you're gonna get $80,000 of points, which is gonna be free money that you don't have to pay taxes on. So it's a win, win, win. So that's just an idea. Now, what's another idea? Okay, you don't have the down payment. You have zero money in your bank, but you have decent credit. So you get a maybe a $60,000 credit limit on, with, with Chase. And, and then, and you could also do that with B of A, by the way. But Chase is pretty easy. You know, I like to go with the, the easier route. So when you buy a house, you need a seasoned account. So when you're, what, what that means is when you're going to buy a house and they ask you for 20 grand down payment, they, the bank is going to ask you for your last two months bank statements. So they want to see that, that that money has been sitting sitting in your account for two months. So what you do is all these cards, they give you checks. And I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. When you when you have a credit card, they'll mail mail you like those checks where you could write, you could pay off something or pay a bill. Yeah. So all you do is you transfer that money to your bank account, to your checking account. Uh, a lot of the the creditors they also have have it easier where you could just transfer money from your credit card to your checking account. You just do a transfer. Yes, you're gonna pay interest. That's okay. But if you have a zero percent interest credit card, you don't pay any interest. So you could literally borrow the money, wait two months, and, and, and then you have the money in your account, the bank's not gonna know that you have, that you transferred it from a credit card. They're just I gonna ask you for your last two months. Huh? They're gonna ask you for your last two months. You don't have to, you don't have to say that, so. You just, you, you let you provide, your money season is what you, he you really pro means. You provide the last two bank statements and mm -hmm. nobody knows or cares where the money came from. If you get, if somebody gives you, if you deposit a check and you don't know where, it, and let's say your uncle gave you, paid you for a TV, and then the bank's gonna question the TV, all you gotta do is just, well, you deposit the check, and then just wait three months, and then you apply for your for your loan to buy a house, and then you show it. But this is, 
perfectly, I don't see anything wrong with transferring from There's your credit card. There's nothing wrong. You just let your money well, season what, what's is gonna, what he what, meant. What's going to happen, what's going to, no, I meant you use your credit card money for your down payment. That's what I'm teaching them in this episode. So the credit card, so you, you, you made me lose my, 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 uh, my, you just in, interrupt a lot. So let me, let me get back to this. Uh, you transfer the money from your credit card and then you wait and then, and then you, uh, after two, you let it sit for two months and then you provide the two, two months bank statements and, and then you use that for your down payment. So just start talking because you made me lose my beat. <laughs> Sorry. There's nothing wrong with what, what I'm saying. Okay, I never said there was. You let it season. That's all I said. You don't have to get mad. I'm not getting mad, but you. Th there's nothing wrong with what I'm saying. Okay. So, <laughs> is there any questions about credit? So let, let's get. Uh, she already like kind of threw me off with. I had something very good that I was going to talk about, so I'm going to save it for later. My first question is coming from Gonzalo. Gonzalo. Hey, what's going on, Albert? What's going on, brother? And, and really quick, re really quickly, Gonzalo, because I remember I remember because I write notes just in case I forget because I get a lot of interruptions here, as you see. But every every six months, no worries, brother. Take yeah, it well. happens, man. Uh, you probably have a wife, so you know what I'm talking about. Uh, no, I just got out of a relationship. Remember I told you about it at EMA? Oh, that's right, dude. Yeah, hey, keep, 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 keep it like keep it like that for a while. I have hard and lost 57 pounds since then. Nice, dude. Enjoy, enjoy your single life for a bit. Now, just... now, 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 just really quick. What, what I was gonna say before Sale interrupted me was that <laughs> every six months you're gonna apply for a credit line increase. So all these cards. That's what I was doing today, cause cause my my FICO I got it up to like an eight hundred and something. So when when you have it up that that high, you want to go to all your credit cards and apply for a credit card uh credit card line increase. So then they bump all of them up. That's why they bump my U.S. bank cards and all those cards. And then it's a good time to, that's why I went in and, you know, and, and I went to a, I mean, I, I didn't go to the dealer, but I called my buddy from the dealer. But what's up, Gonzalo? How can I help you today? All right, brother. So I got, the, I just got it, uh, my first two credit cards and uh, I got one for 3500 another one for 1000 I got the Capital One Quicksilver and another one for Discount. And I'm thinking, man, I want to get that 60,000, 80,000. Everything you're saying is resonating. And I'm taking a lot of notes because that's what I want to do, right? Pretty much. So, what I want to do is do the FHA loan, stay in the property, stay in the four unit property, and run out the three other units. Yeah. Using that credit line. And I just want to see what, what would be the best, what would be the best bank to go for. Or on top of that, I just remember what I actually wanted to talk about. Because you touched on you touched on a lot of points in the driven boot camp regarding going to local banks or and you know rural areas and stuff like that because they're in desperate need of the clients and people like us right and um, I just want to get more information on that opening up maybe a, a, a deposit card you know putting in, putting up, putting up that thousand dollar getting that secure deposit credit card or something like that you know what are your thoughts on well, I, the, the main, um, the, the main thing is like Bobby talks a lot about, he's told me about the community banks, but the community banks, they help you a lot to get commercial loans for apartments because they, that's what, that's what they do. But a lot of community banks, they don't offer credit cards, like for like personal credit cards. They're more for, uh, for commercial apartments, for commercial property. So for that, they'll help you. But the main thing about, about banks is you want to have you want to have a business account. So you want to have a, a business banker. What a business banker does is, you know, when you go to the Bank of America and, and they have the tellers and they have the, those people in, in, in those offices and they're like the special people that underwrite and give you like do the wires for you and all that. So those people, they don't care about you. Like they're just Bank of America chase. They're so big. Wells Fargo that like they don't care if you're worth a hundred million. They don't care if you're worth 500 million. Those people will have clients like, you know, from China, from um, uh, Dubai that are worth like 10 billion that are worth, they have uh, accounts from companies that are trillion dollar companies. 
So in other words, you're like, even if you're worth 100 million or 500 million, you're not that big compared to all those other relationships that these huge banks have. So nobody's going to pay attention to you. I was lucky that with Bank of America, I have a business banker that's my private business banker. So what that means is he's inside the bank and, and I got his cell phone. So I have his cell phone. I text him. I have tequila shots with him all the time. <laughs> we go hang out and get hammered and, 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 and you know, we're buddies. So I, whenever I, I apply for a credit card or, or a loan and I get declined, I call him at his personal cell phone. And I'm like, hey, bro, what's up, man? And he's like, don't worry about it, Albert. Give me till tomorrow. Let me work my magic. And then he talks to his inside team and everything. And then they reconsider my, my loan approval. And then I get a loan approval. But that's what you get um, with time. And, and you have to build that relationship. So I moved one, one business account and another business account and another business account. And then they started making it easier for me to get approved and all that. So that, that's what you got to do. But, but also... Uh, you talked about an FH buying the property. So I, I remember the other thing I was going to share before still like got on the, on that rampage. <laughs> um, when you transfer, let's say 20 grand from, from your B of a card and you just do a transfer from credit card to your checking account. Now you got those 20 grand in your checking account. So you got to wait two months and a half so that you could download your bank statements and they show that the 20 grand has been there for two months. Uh, but now you have $20,000 on your credit card. But the cool thing about Chase is that it has 0% interest. So your monthly payment, because remember, somebody I saw a comment from, from Instagram and they said that, oh, Sil was concerned about the DTI. So when you borrow money from a credit card, now you have a $20,000 debt. Payment. So now you're going to have a $20,000 payment. But with Chase, if you have a 0% interest, your payment's going to be really low. So you get 20 grand and your payment's what? Like it's going to be 100 150 bucks at most a month that's not going to affect you so the bank is not going to see after two months they're not going to see the money that you transferred it from your credit card but they are going to see the monthly payment so the monthly payment if it's 150 under 200 bucks it's not going to matter it's not going to affect you in order to qualify for a for a multi-unit or for a house so it's so you're good so that's why i think it's it's you could get really creative with credit cards you could you could you could invest in in um, in something and and then you make money and then you pay it back at before the cycle ends you pay no interest and you make points so I don't know if this answers most m most of your question but um, I, I could go I could add a little bit more can you brighten it up oh, yeah I can see oh for sure that answered it and uh, you said uh, something some interesting stuff about those travel cards you said something about moving those balances over to that uh, to that zero percent interest on chase freedom card or something related to that really? yeah yeah because you you want to get you want to apply for five credit cards the same day because that way they that that way they're going to run your credit less like for example uh sometimes some some credit some, some credit companies if you run your credit they'll use that credit hit for all the cards so they don't have to run it five times so let's say Chase runs it once and they could use that credit score for all the cards. So then what happens is the Chase Freedom is not going to give you a super high limit, but the Delta card, the Marriott card, that's going to give you like a $20,000 limit, $15,000 limit, obviously depending on your income and, and, and those kind of things. But remember, when, when you're, when you're going to put your income, like let's say a lot of self-employed people. Let's say you make, you make $200,000 a year. That's your gross income. And then your net is 40. They're asking you for your gross income. So put 200. The more, the better. So put 200,000, which is your gross income. And then you're going to get approved for more than if you put a 40 grand. Because they're asking for your gross income. It says right there, gross income, put, put 200. Some of you guys might be making 500,000 gross. And then you report less. Put the gross income. If that's what they're asking for anyways. Me, based on my experience, I, they've, they've never verified my income. Like I always put my income, which is high, but I never, they never verified my income. For credit cards, they never ask you like, hey, send me tax returns, send me any of this. Yeah. They, they don't verify. You just have to be honest and just, you know, put your income. Like I, I happen to have high income, but they haven't verified it. And I look at all the cards that I have.
I mean, they've never verified my income for any of these cards. No. Not even for for the Rolls Royce. They didn't verify my income. They didn't verify my income for my Ferrari. So, it cr credit's like beautiful if you understand it. You could make so much money with other people's money. Like imagine, let's say you have $100,000 in your bank account. Like why would you risk that? Like that's stupidity. That's why I told Sil, you're banned from using any cash or, or any checking account. And, 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 you, and this, like one of the cash. stupidest things in the world is keeping a lot of money in your personal checking account. Why? L like you don't want to keep personal like money in your personal checking accounts. It's the stupidest thing you could do. But of course, all of this, all of these things are like we don't know about it. But when we, when sometimes you get five thousand dollars wiped out of your personal, and remember, five thousand, ten thousand could be a lot of money to some people. Yeah. Like it, it depends. I didn't even know. But, but, but like, you could oh. have your five, ten, last ten thousand dollars, and they wipe them out <laughs> because you forget to file your taxes. And then the state of California loves to take money from people, yeah. and they just get it and then you're like what happened what is this and then you call your bank and they told you and they tell you oh you know what the state just took your money and they could do whatever they want but guess what the state can't take money away from your business uh checking account it's a it's, longer process it, it takes it's a it's a hundred times harder yeah so that's why like you got to know how to protect your money and and keep it in safe accounts and spread it in different accounts and you know it's, that's that's a whole different topic like I have money where p people can't even see it. So I'm broke on I'm, I'm, I'm broke on paper, but I'm fucking wealthy. Like, you know, his uh, underwear I, drawer. I control I control I control my money, but I don't own my money. If that makes any sense. So if you guys are watching on Instagram, if you guys want to keep watching all these tips and secrets about credit, money and finance, click uh, text that link and then hop on to our live Zoom call. Okay. See you guys later. Mwah. What? Next question. All right. So next question. Next. Nas, like Nas? Ness. Oh, Ness, Ness. Ness. Hey, I think it's me. Hey. Hey, what's up? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I'll be here with uh, my wonderful husband. Say it again. It's a little easy for me to talk in Spanish. Is okay for you? Oh, sí, sí. sí. A ver, dinos. ¿Cómo están? Buenas tardes. Eh, desde aquí es de Boston. Eh, un saludo muy especial. Gigantesco. Hola. Saludos. Um, eh, les quería hacer dos preguntas y son bastante rápidas. Yo tuve, es mi historia personal, tuve dos tarjetas de crédito y que desafortunadamente hace, hace tres años se fueron por charge off. Tuve que dejar el país por cosas de inmigración y no, cuando volví pues ya estaban en charge off. Lo primero que hice fue conseguir un trabajo, saqué un carro, trabajé en Uber como loco y las pagué totalmente. Entonces ya llevo dos años trabajando, ahorrando, porque quiero sacar una multifamily, ¿sí? Okay. ¿Esto me puede afectar? No tengo experiencia con esto, pero esto me puede afectar. He has a charge off, but he came back, paid him off. So, el, el charge off, ya lo pagaste, make sure you save the life, because safe. El charge off, sí. ya, lo, ya lo pagaste. Totalmente todo. No debo so, nada, lo que debo la cuenta del carro, carro como 7 mil dólares. So, la cuenta del carro todavía debes. Sí. sí. ¿Y, y es, está en colección? No, no, no. No, lo único fueron dos tarjetas de crédito hace tres años, pero todo eso está pagado. Oh, ok. So, el primer error ahí fue pagarlo en total, el charge off. So, el, cuando, cuando, una, cuando una tarjeta ya se va a charge off, ahí es cuando ahora tú tienes el poder. So, ya ves cuando, cuando te van a dar una, una tarde de 30 días, ahí es cuando es, es malo porque ellos tienen el control y te espantan. Si no pagas, te vamos a dar 30 días tarde y eso te va a bajar el crédito. Pero tu crédito ya, ya te lo jodieron. So, cuando, te dan un, cuando se va a charge off, ahora tú, le dice, tú les dices, no te voy a pagar al menos que me den un deal. Y ellos te van a decir, ok, pues te vamos a dar 50% off, pay 50, paguen 50% y ya lo demás te lo vamos a eliminar. Pero pues ya ni modos porque y, ya las pago. Y tú les, y, sí, por eso. Y tú les dices, no, no te voy a dar 50, te doy el 20. No, no podemos. Ok, pues bye. Y ya después los haces, los haces que te rueguen y ya después bajan hasta y te ofrecen, ok, paguen el 15. Ya les pagas el 15, pero... Ya lo pagaste, so lo, lo bueno es que ya lo pagaste, eso ya estás bien, eso no te va a afectar en tu crédito porque va a salir cero balance. So lo único que te va a afectar es que a lo mejor tu, que, tus puntos bajaron un poco. So lo que deberías de hacer es, primer paso, ve a agarrar una preaprobación pre, pre, pre y que te digan cómo está tu crédito y, y chequen tus ingresos y ya de ahí puedes ver cuál es el siguiente paso. Bien. Y la segunda pregunta es, mi crédito está en 650 ahorita, eh, mi novia lo tiene como en 720. Si ella me agrega a su tarjeta de crédito, ¿me puede ayudar o le puede afectar a ella? Te va a ayudar. 
A ella no le va a afectar, al menos de que, de, que tú, de, que, de que tú uses la tarjeta, no le digas, no hagas los pagos y luego agarras una tarde y le va a afectar a los dos. Pero mi, si ella te agrega una tarjeta y tú no la usas, nomás es para que te agregue ahí más crédito, te va a ayudar. Te, te va a agregar como, como un authorized user. Listo. Perfecto, muchísimas gracias. Ahí estoy conectado con ustedes siempre. De nada, De nada hermano, gracias. Bye. So, so just, just, just briefly in English, what, what he was asking is uh, about um, if he adds his wife that has better credit, if she adds him as an authorized user, would it help him? The answer is yes. And would it affect him? It will if he uses a credit card, doesn't tell his wife, and then he just, you know, takes it and uses it, goes to the club with his boys, And, and maxes out the credit card, strip club later or whatever. And then he doesn't pay it. And then the wife doesn't know. And then you get a 30 day late. Then yes, it affects him. But um, it's not going to affect him if he just gets added as an authorized user and just puts it away, never uses it. The first part was what? So he actually had to leave the country for personal reasons. When he came back, his cards were already Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, they, so they went to, to they became a charge off. Yes. So he paid and that's and he asked, well, does this affect me in buying a house? He has a 650 score, so he's good, good buying FHA. As, as long as you have at least 640, you'll get a good deal with FHA. Yes. FHA is really lenient with the credit scores. Yes. Now, the charge off, he paid it off in, in full. That's a big mistake. What you should do is when you go to a charge off, They already fucked up your credit. So what you're going to tell them is you're going you're gonna to play games with them because now you hold the power and you could just tell them, guess what, Chase? I'm not going to pay you unless you give me 15%. I, I wanna, I'll pay 15% of, my, of the 80 grand that I owe. And then more than likely, if you, make, if you just make them wait, if they tell you, no, you could pay 50% and we'll, we'll take off the other 50. So you pay 40. You just tell them, nah, it's not a good deal. You know what? You just hang up on them. And then you make him beg you. And then, and then later on, you're like, well, if you, give me, if you give me 15%, if you let me pay 15%, I'll settle for 15%. And then they'll be like, nah, we got to do 30. And then slowly but surely, they'll drop. And then they'll, they'll keep begging you until they're like, okay, fine, fine. Just pay me 5% and leave. And then you just pay them the 5%. And then it's going to show a big zero on the balance. And then that's going to be good because the banks are not going to care because you owe zero. It's just going to say that you settled. So it's going to affect you with the points a little bit. But like I said, it, it, it'll, your points go up. They, they'll, they'll eventually go up and it doesn't take long for your, for your uh, points to go up and then you're fine. So it's not yeah. a big deal. I mean, credit, credit's really easy. Cre credit's exciting. Like I like credit. Yeah. It's like a game. Yeah, it, exactly. It's a game. Steph, are there any more questions? Kendo Lucero. Geno. 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 Oh, Gino. Oh, I know Gino. <laughs> Gino. <laughs> hey, guys. How's it going? Hey, Very good. Very good. Good, good. We camera, see brother, I want to see your face. sexy face, man. Uh, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I have to put my makeup on <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I'm on now. Hey. Awesome, awesome. Hey, hey, bro. So like, like I, I was telling Syl, hey man, freshen up. And she's like, I'm not gonna freshen up. Like she just, she just gets, we get home and, and she just like sprays some spray. And she says, this spray like cleans me. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like when I, I, I got here and, and I have to freshen up. I so put I, powder I, on And, and since, since, since today we're gonna have it. Yeah, but that doesn't clean all the sweat and the, and the oiliness. Have? So, so like um, I'm dressed, I dressed up today because we're talking about finance, credit and like business. So I want to look like professional for you guys. But like, I yeah, I, I, I couldn't, I can't believe like, how do you not freshen up? But like, we were like in the sun, like, sweating. Don't sweat like guys, but, but yeah, and, and then also I woke up really early. So the, the quick little shower, it kind of wakes me up and gives me energy. He has an energy problem. But yeah, Gino, you know, I, I just couldn't, I, I, rem, you rem, I remembered that. I was like, okay, but, but yeah, Gino. Talk to problem. us. I didn't know that I was going to be invited to uh, come on camera, but I was, um, I just put some remarks, a question about, Any idea how to get by the 524 rule from Chase? You know how they have a rule where you can only, uh, well, if you've opened five credit cards in 24 months, they don't authorize you to open any more cards. Like I tried to recently, I have a Prime and a Sapphire reserve with them. And I tried to get a Chase Business Inc, but they declined me because of the 524 rule. Yeah, no, I, I heard about that. I, I opened, so this is what happened. 
I opened, um, I think it was, it was, it was before, it was two, over two years ago. It was like, actually like four years ago or three years ago. I opened, um, I opened credit cards with Chase and I got my, uh, my, I got my limit up and then I got, I opened some cards for sale and then she had a high and then we combined them. And then again, now we, we, I don't know if it, I don't know if the, the rule is, is a hundred percent accurate, but since I hadn't applied for a, for credit cards from Chase in a while, it was uh, yet this weekend I went ahead and I just, and I remembered that you could apply for like four or five cards. So I applied for four or five cards and I got approved. I, I got declined on two and I got approved on three. And then the, the, the two that I got declined, they said, because I had really large credit limits and because I ha I have too many inquiries and too many, uh, yeah, too many inquiries and recent in inquiries. And then I have a lot of my large limits. So I'm like, like, like what's the, who cares if you have large limits? Like I spend a lot of money. And so I was arguing I, the thing that, that I was more mad about was that they de declined me for the Disney card. And I was like, like, like how, how do you guys decline me for the Disney card? But you approved me for the Marriott card. That's like a really high limit and you can't approve me for the Disney card. And then I tell him like I have and they're like, why do you want a Disney card, mister? And I tell him, well, I have two little girls. I have a one that's four and one that's one and my wife and we have a dog and we like to go to Disneyland. And, 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 and I, I like to spend money in Disneyland, like a, a lot of money. And then long story short, they declined me with Disneyland. So I was pretty pissed off over that. Remember stuff? So I, I just couldn't believe it. Like it doesn't make any sense for them to approve me for like 20 grand for Marriott and then they decline me for my Disney card. And I'm like, it, it's just stupid, but credit cards are weird. So you just kind of have to like- Play with them. Yeah, play with them. And, and, but I don't know if the 524 rule, I heard about it. I don't know if, if, if it's legit, but I mean, today I got approved for three more credit cards from Chase. And all I did was just transfer the credit limits back to my freedom card. Cause the freedom card, besides the, all the cool things that it has that like, when you just get it, you get 15 months, no interest. But I already have it, so I don't get the no months interest, but I get points. It has really good points at Chase Freedom. So I, I use it because I have a bit I have quite a few businesses. So like instead of paying a hundred grand a month um from you know my business checking accounts, I could spend a hundred grand on on the points card and then I get a bunch of points. So I get free money. So that's why I like using all these cards that have points. Good stuff, good stuff. All right, thank you guys. You're welcome. Awesome. Gino, you know, but what I'll do though, I'm going to look into this 524. I'll look into it because I have a lot of friends that are experts in I'm not an expert in credit. I just know a lot, but I have friends that are experts. So I'm going to get into it and then I'll send you the, I'll send you my, my discoveries. Sounds like a plan. Thanks again. Awesome, brother. Welcome. Steph? Why does the screen dim? Do you know? Because of the lighting. It just goes to sleep? Yeah, it doesn't go to sleep. It just dims down. Mm. Next question, Steph? Come on, guys, give us Anthony your questions. Corona. Anthony Corona. Now it's getting cold. Now it's when you bring up, bring up the heat. Too late because we had trouble turning it Yeah, but it, it, on. it was hot. Like, you, you don't, you turn the heater on when it's cold, not when it's hot. It's like right now, like, it's cold. So I mean, now yeah. let, let, let's bring, let, <laughs> let, just, let, let's, there, let's bring the AC. Sorobel. Hi, Albert. Albert. Hey, how Hi. are you? Hi, Zil. Hola. Okay, quick question. I would like to know if um, uh, um, if it will affect to apply for an HOA loan if a bankruptcy got deleted from my credit. No, because if if it's deleted, it's deleted. So, so I don't know if this this applies to your question, but when so this is this is the only reason why you would pay the delinquent account full so in, in full so let's say mm. you have a credit card that has a fifteen thousand uh, dollar balance and then you just don't pay it and then they send you to collections and then you and then they ask you can we close that door and then they ask you okay sir would you like to pay your your balance in full and then and, and you have practice because i used oh, to make yeah. i used to make sale call all these because we used to help clients yeah we used to tell clients hey call and say this so I she, know. Would, she would she would go with the clients and she would kind of help them hey you know don't because clients don't know they don't follow the rules you uh, don't know what you don't to know to the t a lot of times yeah so you'll tell them don't pay it in full 
unless, unless they you... delete it, unless they're going to give you a deletion letter, make sure they fax it to you, make sure they email it to you. And then you tell them and they're like, yeah, 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 I get it. And then they'll pay it in full and, and, not, they, get and, the and not get the letter. And then they paid it in full and the, the, the lean, I mean, the bad, the black mark on your credit still remains. Yeah. So you want to tell her how you. Bankruptcy. bankruptcy. Chapter seven, bankruptcy. Did it get, did, did it get deleted? Like charged yeah. off? It will be deleted from my credit pretty soon. From the but that's because you, rules. that's because from you filed, the, that's because you filed a bankruptcy though, right? Yeah, so it will be, it, I will, I will, it will be deleted from my credit. So my question is, if I apply for an HOA loan. FHA. Are you, do you mean, a, do you mean FHA or HOA? FHA loan. Yeah. FHA, yeah. <laughs> FHA. So, yeah, so yeah. when, when is, when is your bankruptcy going to be, um, closed? When, when is it going to be official? You're, you're barely in the process? Um, yes. yes. It will okay. be closed, I believe, in less than two months. Mm. Okay, Let's so see. so you're gonna have to wait. So Two you're not years, you, you're not gonna qualify. You're, you're not gonna qualify Im immediately. You're gonna have to wait. And then guide guidelines change it, it, every every year. Guide there's like new guidelines, but depending on your bankruptcy, uh, that it could be you could have to wait three years. Uh, it could be two years. So yeah. like if if you send me all the details, like maybe you could send me a DM or or send me a message. Steph could probably get all the details. But more than likely, you're gonna have to wait. Um, you're gonna have to wait a couple of years at least, and then, like I said, things could anywhere change. anywhere from two to three years. It just depends on guidelines and what was included. Because um, Chapter Seven is just credit card debt, correct? Um, yes, I just have a bunch of credit cards and yeah. two repos. Yeah, Chapter Thirteen. You is you different. you might not you might not. I don't know if it's too late for this, but you might not <laughs> want to do bankruptcy for that for credit cards. Cause you could just you could just get a credit repair company to help you fix them, and then you don't Two have repos you, too. You, you, yeah, it's it's okay. I I had I, I never filed bankruptcy, and I had like five repos and like <laughs> two uh, foreclosures yeah. and like eighty thousand dollars in credit cards. So I, I my question is because I I was um watching the videos from the previous bootcamp. And I remember that I believe Willie asked the same question that I'm just asking you guys, but I just wanted to know in case the information just changed or new guidelines or new laws. Yeah, it's like, going to be two to two to three years that you're going to have to wait. But um, it, are you too late in the process or can you still cancel it? If I if I have to cancel, I cancel it. How how much how much how much debt are you writing off? Like how many credit cards total? Maybe it's around eighty thousand on credit cards and two repos. And, and, and the have, and the repos you, they already took the cars right yes and, yeah. and my driver license is suspended and i'm including also all of those uh, traffic ticket violations in my chapter 7 yes it was are 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 they a lot of tickets traffic traffic violation traffic tickets yeah yeah you you you're like so so gets a lot of violations Stupid. driving he but, gets caught speeding but, all the time i'm like if you're but, gonna speed, pay but you know, attention. But you know what? If if you want to give me just just send me the like the details, and and let me just let me look at it, let me think about it, and and let me give you like because you can send us an email. We can totally do a, a like a a pre approval in a sense. I I can assign it to one of our LOs because if it's not if we can fix it without actually doing bankruptcy, that would be a much better option for you because within a year you can totally yeah. fix your credit. Yeah. So so like if you don't do bankruptcy, you might just be able to like maybe it's going to cost you a little bit of money, but but you could um you could improve your credit, settle some of these accounts, fight some of these accounts, and it'll cost you maybe Maybe it might cost you a little bit more than than what you're gonna pay for the foreclosure for the bankruptcy. However, you might be ready to buy in six months or eight months. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so I, I know for sure that I qualify for a house with my income. But there you go. So I I wouldn't do a bankruptcy at all because I I don't want to wait two three years. Yeah. Like, exactly. Like like I I rather like just you're not paying them anyway. So now with the money you're making. Just put some money aside, pay a professional. They know all the rules, the, exactly. the, their attorneys. So they know how to fight these monster credit card companies. And, and they know how to like, they're experts. So like, like these, you'll, like I said, 80 grand in credit card, it's nothing. Like I had a credit card that I owed 80 grand. 
And I didn't pay it. So they kept charging me interest. <laughs> they were like, every month, they were adding like $2,000 of interest. So it was like, next month, 82 grand. It went up to 84 grand, then 86 grand. And I was like, keep it coming, baby. And they kept on adding like two grand of interest every month. And I'm like, give it, like, give me more, give me more. Oh and and, and after, after six months, they're finally like, this dude's not going to pay us. So they just sent me to collections. And then, I, and then they called me back begging me like a little, like little puppies. And they're like, hey, mister, would you pay 10% of the 88,000? And I'm like, sure. Yeah. Here's 10 grand. And boom. Now it's at zero balance. So that's how easy it is to get rid of it. But it'll take you six, eight months. But not two, three years. So I, I rather do that. Like you, you, you want it's. I want the faster, the better. You don't want to be marked for that long. That's a really long. Yeah, and time. you don't want to, and you don't really want to have a bankruptcy either. Exactly. That's really bad. Uh, so send us, send us an email. You can email me. It's sill at the mortgage guys. S Y L at the mortgage guys dot com. Steph, if you could put it on there, please. And and I'll hook you up with somebody. And let's just look at everything. You know, once we have it in front of us, we'll be like, okay, yes, no, yeah. We'll let you know what to do, again, based on our experience and what's better for you. If you really want to buy an investment property and you do have the income right now, you definitely don't want to be locked away for two to three years. It's yeah. crazy. Yeah, that, that's, okay? that's the biggest mistake that a lot of people do. They'll do bankruptcy for credit cards. Yeah. Like, don't do that. No, yeah, don't, don't do that. Do yeah. that. Don't like do if, that. Like, if you had, like, 10 foreclosures of properties, <laughs> and then you have millions of dollars of debt, then maybe maybe do a bankruptcy. But not 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 for that. Like yeah. it's, it's, I'm glad you called today. Yeah. So, that was awesome. Thank you, Thank Albert you. and Seal. I love your hair. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> how how uh, many minutes are we in? Steph? No, no, next question. 57? Really? That went by fast. Anthony Corona. Come on, Corona. Corona. Hey, Alpha, I just got a new car, baby. What's up, Alpha? Alpha Slides. Wait till you see it. <laughs> Did your baby come? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, is it cute? He, he sent me a picture. <laughs> yeah? Hey, what's going on, guys? Hi. What's up? Hi. Uh, um, <clears throat> so I, I had a question about uh, paying off credit card debt. So I had heard, I think it was, I think it was Rondi who said that whatever your, your max is on that card, pay it down to 30% and then split that, that uh, balance into 30 days and make a, a payment every day. So to boost your, uh, your points. Um, is that right? Or? I, mean, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't that. remember that, but he, he knows, he, he yeah. knows his shit. Yeah. But, but, um, I know what he said is, is, uh, he, he likes to keep cards at 10%. That's why it's, it's really important to have, like, let's say when you have like a hundred thousand dollar limit card, you could use 10,000 and it's, and, and, and it, it doesn't affect you at all. But when you have a $10,000 card and you use the 10,000, you're maxing out your limit. So that's going to affect you a lot, Drop your a lot cycle. because you're using a hundred percent of your, of your limit. But, but uh, I, I keep, I'll keep credit cards at 30% sometimes and it, it, it doesn't affect you that much. Like there, I think 30% is my number. I, I, I'll keep them at 30%. But then also like, for example, um, like I, I had an expense uh, a couple weeks ago and it was like a $126,000 expense. And I just put it on one of my credit cards because like, like, what if I don't want to pay it off? What if I don't want to pay it that same month? What if I want to roll it for two months? And, and, then, and then next month, you know, I'll, I'll make some extra cash and then next month I'll pay it. So that's the beauty of, of having large limit cards that you could, instead of using your nice cash, you just put it on the card, 126,000, just swipe it. You Leverage. get points and then you pay, you pay some interest for a month, but then you're getting points and it's kind of making up for it a little bit. And then next month you pay it when you have a when when you make more money next month. So that's the the beauty of credit cards. And and then what if you um, what if you're you're having like I said earlier you're you're gonna have an event, maybe pay it with a credit card. And once you collect the money from the event, then you pay off your credit card, and then you have your profit. So that's that that's the cool thing about credit cards. But to answer your question, I I don't want to give you I don't want to tell you something that I don't know. I'm not sure of. So I don't know about the 30% and then paying uh, 1% a day. Um, I never, I, I don't remember that, but I'll ask though, and I'll get back to you. Yeah, that helps. And then I guess another question would be, um, 
What would be the best way to, to pay off credit cards? Like just pay the, the whole balance that month and then charge, I guess, somewhere between look, 10 look. and 30% for the next month? Look, th th this is what I like to do. I don't know if I, I think I said in the beginning, but one of my US bank cards was my one of my little cards. This one was 19,000 uh, credit limit. And, they, and, and what I did is this one got increased to 40 grand. And then the forty thousand dollar U.S. bank got increased to fifty. So one of them, they increased me ten thousand, and the other one about twenty thousand. So I got thirty thousand dollars more from from U.S. bank. But what I do is every six months, I I pay off everything. So I have zero debt. See, I always I usually always have close to like zero debt. Yeah. But I'll like, like today, like this this week. I ran my credit a bunch of times. I, I ran my credit like 15 times at least because, <laughs> because I was shopping for everything. So I called all my credit cards and, 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 I, and I applied for new credit cards. So I, I probably ran it for like maybe closer to 30 times, to be honest. So I ran my credit so many times and I, and I got some new credit cards and I got maybe 30% of my credit cards gave me a credit line increase. So I just added a lot more, um, more credit card money more, more, uh, more credit money. And then also I, I just went all, all in with all the inquiries and I even went to a, a, a you know, I got a car. Um, I went to check out some cars, uh, through the internet, but I called my buddy from the dealer. Yeah. So oh, you, you'll, you'll see, you'll see, I got a new nice one, but you'll, you'll, you'll see it. But, but, um, it's my birthday gift for myself. When my birthday is Monday and, and you know, I, I, I like, have an idea. I, I like to get my own car. I'm pretty sure. I, know. My, I like to get my own gifts, but, um, Happy birthday. thank you, brother. Thank you. Well, we're going to be, we're going to see each other at the mastermind. I hope, uh, April 10th, we're going to celebrate, but yeah, I got, I got a mastermind and, uh, um, I have some lights that I, that I want to let you guys have. So maybe for the background, the little shadows, yeah, give it some accent lights. Well, that'd be cool. That's awesome, bro. You thank you. So, so just really quick. So, so, so right now so I'm done with my credit. Because I already kind of maxed it out with the inquiries and, and all the all that stuff, so my my credit's gonna be a little bit dinged up right now. But I got some buddies that are experts in credit, so 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 they 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 have their their ways mm -hmm. of of uh, getting rid of some inquiries. Uh, you know, uh, getting like they, they they'll help your credit go up. So in six months from today, I have it in my calendar. I'm gonna call on my credit cards again. And I'm gonna ask him for more increases, <laughs> and then I'm gonna apply for more cards. So, so I'm gonna keep adding that that money because because now what I do is like like I said I have I have like close to two million dollars in credit uh, limit available, in, in, for personal and business combined. So if I want to make a one million dollar purchase, I could literally pay it in credit cards, and then once I make a million and a half back. I pay the million and then I just made half a million on money that's not mine. I don't even have to touch my, my, my cash. So but that's, I, all, that's all business credit, right? That's not personal credit. Personal and credit. And business. So, I mean, yeah, personal and are business. Those, those combined? combined, yeah, combined. Combined, it's, it's close to two mil. But, but I have, like, like, for example, like my B of A card is personal and that one's 127,000 limit. My Chase one, I just got it to a hundred grand limit. Um, U.S. Bank is close to uh, not, it's ninety thousand dollars limit. So I have a bunch of different ones. Like the ca the the Capital okay. One is, is also has a big limit. So all of them combined, and then the the beauty about business credit is that it doesn't appear on your credit. So when you run your personal credit, they don't see any any of yeah. So for example, I could go and spend like a couple hundred grand business credit, and that that's and if I go run my credit, they're never gonna see that. Also cool, like like Ferrari. Like if you guys get a Ferrari, it doesn't appear. Ferrari is so beautiful, man. I was with the Econ Chris like uh, last yeah. weekend. God, your car is so damn beautiful. Bro, thank you. And, and you know what's even more beautiful? That it Me. doesn't it doesn't appear oh, no, on no. your credit. <laughs> no. So it doesn't appear on your credit. That that car is is a lease, so it's an open end lease. It doesn't <laughs> appear on your credit. So for example, like like. Like nobody, nobody would know that it's on your credit. Nobody would know that you're financing it. Nobody would know anything. So if you go and apply for a home loan, they don't know it's on your credit. And like, for example, like, let's say if you get a Lambo, that shit's going to appear on your credit. So then when you go to the bank, they're going to be like, hey, wait a minute. You got a, you got an $8,000 payment there. You got a $5,000 payment there. And then that's going to hit your credit. But a Ferrari, 
It's home buying proof. Wait, so could break that down a little bit. So it, it's not the brand, obviously, but it's how you purchase it. It's the finance, the finance. So Ferrari finance does not report to the credit bureaus. But oh. but 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 uh, everything else reports. Uh, you know everything else reports. Ferrari is the exclusive club. So wow, I, I didn't know that. That's really cool. That's, that's some good info. <laughs> you, you, know, you know you know what I'm just thinking about right now. What? How much you love me? No, Rolls oh. Royce doesn't appear on your credit either. It doesn't. No. Boom. Yeah, but but uh, but maybe because I yeah you know why because uh because it's under my business credit my business credit the the Rolls Royce the Rolls Royce yeah, yeah. but Ferrari's just hmm. special it's I, like I just so started thinking fancy. about something right now I know man but 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 yeah but but you you, you get the point there so you go. so so whatever if you guys if you guys want to make some money buy some houses go is get that a my Michelle Willie right there and then I see working working <laughs> so yeah brother so I'll see you April tenth yeah. Sounds We're gonna good. party it up. I'll, I'll I'll talk to Steph and see when I can drop them or mail them to you. The lights. Yeah, you can come to the office. It's in West Hollywood. Yep. Cool. Cool. Thank awesome, brother. Dude, it's cool. We, we got we got time for one more question, Steph. So all you guys, your credit cards are in good standing. Call your bank tomorrow morning. And tell them that you want oh. a credit card increase. Yeah, and, and, and also something, another big tip. Do me a favor, guys, and after this um, Zoom, go go to your credit card uh, web the, the website, cool. log in, and then and then put go on auto pay. Oh yeah. So, so go on auto pay and for auto pay select uh, minimum payment. So put your minimum payment on auto pay. Because if you forget to make a payment, like Syl forgot to pay her Victoria's Secret card. It was so, so she got a 30 day late like two months ago. Yeah. I'm like, so ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> so like when you when you get off this this Zoom. You said what? Go go on go on go on the website and then select auto pay and put a uh, minimum payment. Because at least if you forget to make your, your payment or pay off whatever you whatever you're gonna pay off. The minimum a lot of us have a lot of businesses. Like I mean I mean Alpha Slice could get a late because he has so much shit going on. So you just forget about a discover card. And then all of a sudden you're like, shit, I missed my $25 yeah. minimum payment. And and then you get a 30 day late and then your FICO score goes from eight hundred to seven oh one. Or it goes from seven twenty to like six fifty. Yeah. And now it's like that's a big deal. So Make sure you just put auto pay on all your credit cards for the minimum payment. That way, if you forget you're on vacation, you're safe. Whatever, it'll at least make that minimum payment, and you won't yeah. get a thirty day late. Okay. Question, Steph. Okay, well, I think we're done then. All right, guys. It's been an hour. So, um, huh? You have a question, Jesus? So, how many inquiries is too many inquiries? And then, I guess the second part of it would be, um, how long do the inquiries stay in your credit? Alright, that's too many, dude. You, two, two is enough. So you're asking the wrong. First of all, you're asking the wrong person. So, so like the inquiries stay in. Uh, they'll, they'll be. They'll affect you for two years, and then also like I have forty inquiries right now, in the last two years, and and uh, but I have buddies that know how to remove them. Question from Alondra. Wait, but you have to answer his other question. What's the third one? Um, when when does it start affecting your chances of? Getting qualified for a home. What? Like, like how many inquiries? Like inquiries number, don't matter. It, it doesn't affect it's you. Debt. Uh, yeah. It's actual no, debt. Especially and not for payment. not for a house, but they're gonna question you. They're gonna make you do like a letter of explanation, like why you have all those inquiries. It's so, called an LOE. So, so all you gotta do is, I was shopping for the best rate bank, and that, that's it. Yeah. So, but, so but, it's because they because they there's no way they could be like. They're, they're not going to ask you, well, why were you shopping for a, for, a, for a bank? Because I want to get the best deal. That's why. You're not going to tell them, I was getting all these credit cards and next month I'm going to have like 40 new credit cards bank. <laughs> no, yeah. it's not bad. It's not bad, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Alondra. Alondra. Oh, that's, I, I used to watch that novela. Alondra? He used to watch all the novelas to look at all the girls. Yeah, especially the... Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, thank you. Um, actually, this is a good topic for me because I personally suck at this. <laughs> um, well, me being from, you know, a Mexican family, I'm the only one that has uh, social. 
So I have nobody to, you know, guide me through this mm -hmm. and my whole family. Okay, um, we can help I you. Did, I do have a credit card. Um, my st a, co a couple of years ago, I started with my student credit card from Capital One. Uh, the limit was like 300, yeah, 300, I believe. Uh, that was about six years ago. Um, well, the thing is that during that time, you know, um, I was working and whatever. I had a part-time job um, while I was going to school. I ended up actually uh, getting approved for a credit. The last thing that I got was like 5,000. Um, but, uh, you know, something happened. Like I broke my foot. I literally broke my foot. So, you know, I was, I couldn't work for like more than a year. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh so when that happened you know oh god the interest hit me um yeah. it hit me hard and after that i kind of just you know you know i did pay it off um i got it charged off um thank god uh, about two years no about a year ago now okay but after that you know you know having collectors call me at one night uh you know it was you know how they are it's yeah annoying. it's so freaking <laughs> annoying every day i would get about five to like seven calls um so you know i finally ended up paying it off you know i actually got a friend to loan me the, the money and i was like you know what i'm not dealing with this so i paid it off like right there and then so after that um i just got scared you know i right now my credit is bad it's I have a 580, <laughs> uh, so it's pretty bad since I haven't really used it since then. Uh, you know, it's just, I don't know, I'm scared. And I don't know where to take it from here. Yeah, so the, the number one thing is have somebody that has good credit, that has a high limit credit card, have them add you as an authorized user. And then just like, like if you don't trust yourself because you think you're gonna go and be a big spender, <laughs> then, then just just cut the card with like cut it up with scissors and throw it away and that way you're going to be on the credit card but you don't have the temptation so you, you're you going to be on it and then that's going to report on your credit report and then it's going to increase your your points and it's just going to show like you have a credit card you're using it and then it's going to the, the beauty of it is if your buddy or whoever's going to put you on the credit card if they've had this credit card for 24 months it's going to show like you had this credit card for 24 months. So then what you could do is then you could go to a bank and be like, okay, well, Bank of America, I want to open up a credit card. And they're going to be like, no, your credit is, is, is uh, not that good yet. So you tell them, okay, well, I want to do a secured credit card. Exactly. So then you give them a thousand dollars and then they give you a thousand dollars credit card, mm -hmm. but with your own money, but it's a Bank of America credit card. And then after a year, they'll give you your 1000 back and then it'll become a real credit card. And then six months later, you call them and you're like, hey, I want to, I want a credit line increase, and then by then your credit's gonna be up. So it, it's very easy. Okay, what do you recommend me doing with the Capital One now? You know, the one that I have. It's gonna be hard to get an increase because your FICO score is low. So you're gonna have to first add yourself as an authorized user, then maybe open a secured credit card, and then six months later, then ask Capital One, hey, can you, can you guys give me an increase to like? 600 bucks and then you exactly. and, and then you and then you six months later you it's little by little it's, it, so you, you can you can't call them like six months and be like hey can you up it from 300 to 3000 <laughs> because that's a big a big difference so start by asking like hey can you bump it up to 500 600 and then you just go from there but it, it, it's a process it takes time it's like kind of like when like when um oh, when some when a guy cheats on a girl and then you know in the beginning it's kind of like a, a little bit shaky but then after a, after a month, it kind of cools off a little bit. And then after six months, it kind of forgets. And then after a year, it's no, so totally forget. No, girls never forget. And then after, three, after two years, it's like no, nobody even knew. Nobody remembers. So two years from now, your credit. But it takes time. It, it's like one of those little But situations. if you have like a little bit of money right now, I would just go to my bank and say, hey, I'm trying to work on my credit. What could you do for me? You Don't be afraid to ask. You already have a no. You know, and another big no-no. Does that answer your question? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And, and don't be afraid to use credit. You just have to have the self-control to say, it's like, okay, if you're going to buy groceries, cash, go to the store, use your credit card, come back, 
pay the card right that same day because you're working your credit. You're letting it kind of run, you know. And another really, really important thing, guys, we have so many clients like do not co-sign for people's cards. Oh, yeah. Just do not do that. I have clients that have lost so many opportunities to refinance, to lower their payment, because guess what? Okay, I'm going to get a car for my whoever. If you have to absolutely do that, which I don't think anybody should ever do that, make sure you're on the contract and the other person is on the contract and they pay the payment out of their bank account and you have a 12-month history showing the payment coming out of the other person's account so that when you are buying a house, an investment, you could omit get rid of that debt on your income so your debt to income ratio you know and, and what happens like repos and things it becomes your problem when that person doesn't pay and that happens so often you guys you know so you know i know sometimes it's hard to say no just say no i can't my credit is shot whatever you have to say but don't co-sign for people you know it, it's just a really it's a bad deal you wouldn't co-sign for 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 mo i wouldn't sign for anybody oh mo yeah well mo doesn't need that <laughs> also, um, like what you were talking about, how do you recommend working the credit? Like, let's say, okay, you know, there's certain terms or whatever. Um, how would you recommend paying that off? Always keep your your uh, credit usage at thirty percent or less. Like, net, like, don't keep it. Don't don't max. And and the thing is, it's hard when your limit is is smaller because yeah. it's hard. But but you just like I said. Just work your credit, pay on time, and after every six months, ask for increases and ask and, and try to open new cards. Apply for new cards every six months. That, that's the magic number, six months. Every six, that's what I do. Every six months, I'll go apply for more. Okay. Also, one last question. Mm -hmm. So, um, like I said, okay, so I have a, you know, I have a social and whatnot. But, you know, my partner, my husband, you know, just because we're together, you know, husband, let's say, um, so he, so he doesn't have, you know, a, a social right now, he's in, um, in process, but you know, it just started, what would you recommend for him, like to, for him to start his credit also? I mean, for now he has to wait till he gets, how, how far is he from getting a social? Oh, uh, it could be up to a year. Okay. Okay. Well, he should have an ITIN number. And what you do there is whatever, ta whatever he does, you know, sometimes everything from your ITIN, you can transfer to your social security number once that is in effect, when you actually have it, you know, taxes, things like that. You could always transfer it from ITIN to social security once he actually has it. But does, right does, now, does he have like a fake social right now? <laughs> Because if you get a if you get a fake if you get a fake social, yeah, you then, could transfer then, the credit. Then, then you could also sometimes transfer it because because a ITIN number, they might not give you um you know like, they might not give you credit only like in, at certain places, but like I've had many clients that have fake socials, and uh, and and you'll be surprised with some of the credit limits they get. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So like I'm not I'm not saying in any way. Do go, that. Go do get a fake social, but I mean I've seen that it works pretty well. But but I'm not saying go do that. So don't don't put any words in my mouth, P please, people. Like um, like I said, so we live in an apartment right now. Um, I you know I I was the one that uh you know signed up to see if I qualify. For sure, I did not qualify at all. <laughs> so I ended up paying you know the freaking fee of the application for nothing. But he applied and he. He got approved like by the next day, and yeah, he did put his taxes number. Though. His ITIN, his ITIN number? Huh? He put his his ITIN number? Yes. Yeah. So he it, he might have some history in that ITIN number. So keep keep rolling with it. Keep keep applying for stuff and and see what you get. That's the thing. He does it. He really never used his taxes at all. Yeah. He, we were, we were sure that we weren't going to get an apartment. We were like, okay, we need to find somebody to get us an apartment. But no, he qualified, so I don't know. That's what... Yeah, I have no clue. Yeah, because no credit is better than bad, bad credit. credit. That's so, so, so um, yeah, but have him, have him apply at... Uh, you know what? You could, it's very easy. 
just go to just Google like like what um, what credit can you easiest credit with item number or things like that. But regardless, I'll ask my credit expert friends like what's like the best credit to get or apply with an item number, and they'll tell me, and I'll I'll, I'll shoot you a message. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Thank I you. Awesome. It yeah. You're welcome. It's hard. Yeah. You just gotta keep working, grinding. No, yeah, that's true. It's just like, oh God, sometimes I can be such a scary cat. Cause yeah, like, you know, like I said, like on the last Zoom meeting, you know, I have my, we just, you know, I just have my kid, he's about to be a year old and we're just kind of just getting started. So um, everything I do, you know, I'm just like, oh no, please don't, don't come back to me. I don't know. I'm just scared. Self-improvement. Don't be scared. Get the information and then execute. Okay. Thank you, girl. You're awesome. welcome. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in for this thank Driven you. Couples about credit. Like I said, I'm not a credit expert, but I know a lot about credit. But um, yeah, I'll see you. We'll see you guys next week. If you're watching this on YouTube, comment below uh, if you liked it, what you want us to talk about next. And also uh, ask us questions. Maybe we didn't get to everything, but ask yeah. us questions. We'll go back and answer them and uh, see you guys next week. Bye. Oh.